Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grim Fandango, episode 13. We are coming to the end of things now. If you have forgotten from last time, we had managed to get everybody to the end of the world, but oh no, apparently we've sold all the golden tickets, or number 9. So uh, that's got us in a spot of shit. Anyway, Glottis has collapsed and we need to patch him up. So let's have a chat. Mechi. We have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys. Yep. Let's talk to these little guys. What's wrong What's with him? What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why? Why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then uh, I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Ah, the regrets are setting in. Can you cure Can him? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! That's right, my little glotti. I'm gonna say that the mini glottis is, like, plural, glotti. Who are you anyway? Who are you guys? We are mechanics! Same as he! But we have never before seen one of our kind so... So large! Yeah, he's a big boy. Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. I've got to go. Come back for Okay, so essentially we can revive Glottis using a very fast vehicle. Unfortunately, we don't have any vehicle fast enough. I'll just check what I've got in my hand. Aha, uh -huh, that was what we need. Need to pop through here. Let's have a read of this fridge. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. <laughs> Your mother... I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Ah, passive-aggressive notes in the workplace. What's not to love? Just open this drawer. It's full of rags. And we'll pick up a rag. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. Yes, uh... Let's cause a bit of a fire. Just as proof. Anything in these toolboxes? How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. Or the 3D modeler slash artist couldn't be bothered making new assets. Not picking that up. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. Got to recycle, save the planet. Okay, let's get this rag and we just dip it in the oil. This better not stay in my pocket. Don't worry, mate. We're just going to pop it in this toaster as a little example. Now we wait a minute, and oh dear. Not again! Will they never learn? It was the little guy. I saw him. Ah, and he denied it the last time. What a bastard. Yes. So it was all. a good idea to have a clean rag around. Yes, it is, Manny. Thank you very much. As you saw, that little guy had a f fire extinguisher. This better not stay in my pocket. If you remember from many, many moons ago, if you combine a fire extinguisher with that packing foam, it explodes, or at least the big pink demon told us so. And what do we have here? Big pink mug. I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. Not a big pink mug, we have a big foam filled mug. Let's just uh, deposit it here. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. I know, it's absolute barbarism. Let's uh, show them what this stuff can do. Probably best step back, Manny. Mm -hmm. 
What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Alright. Let's head this person up. Rock and roll. You sure this thing's going to hold together? Uh, at least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to Rubacaba! Manny? Manny, where are you? Don't panic, Lotus. Manny, I'm frightened! Lotus, you're panicking. God damn it. This is what happens when you panic. Yeah, at least we're not getting wet. What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Oh, goes well, Camille! She's been booby trapped. By who? Who? Um maybe the dominoes are a bit of a signifier. Those dominoes are like one long fuse. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Okay, Glottis, don't do your panic face. Poor guy. So nervous. I think he's gonna be sick. Don't panic. God! What a trooper. Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. Such a spoil sport. See if we can get through here. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. Oh, that's the kitty track out of bounds. So, first thing we need to do is pay a visit to old Toto Santos. See how the grumpy Russian scrimshaw artist is doing today. If Inez has cooled off yet, the operator? Go. Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing Your through town and. Your mother would love it. Wow, still mad. Inez can use her eyes of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice. Not it's my a fault. Cabinet. There we go, we got... There can't be too much in here. Can or liquid nitrogen? Oh, hello, Toto. Oh, Toto's plum tuckered out. No, Your I don't want to disturb his grumpy it. little dreams. Yeah, best not to wake him up, especially as we're technically stealing from him. Alright, we've got a can of nitrous o oxide. Not nitrous oxide, liquid nitrogen. Now we have to view some old haunts. See how good old Velasco's doing. Hey, Velasco. Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well, 
We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? And that's the last we see of Alaska. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Now uh, we borrow his ship in a bottle. And next, Let's see how the blue casket's doing. Oh. It's locked. Yeah, we can't go visit the Calavera Cafe, whatever's become of it. Anybody for open I just mind? can't do it without an audience. Olivia! Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Oh yeah, so Olivia's joined our gang. Okay. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. Ah, the coffin shooters. Let's just uh, have a little sample. That's what the Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. There we go. We've got a ship's bottle. Filled with booze. Now what we can do with it is let's slightly abuse Glottis's drinking problem. Hey Glottis. Here you What's go, buddy. that? It's uh Lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago lemonade! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry. This won't take long. Yeah. Oh, oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. What a trooper. You really should get back in case it blows. Okay, so we've got Glottis filled with lumbago lemonade. Slash. He looks like he's about to blow too. So uh, let's help him vacate it. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Oh, that splashing. That's, that's awful. Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. Make a gel. Hey, I made it spill. The rest is up to you. Yep, so we have a... Uh... The gelatin is still liquefied. It wouldn't stop the dominoes from falling. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Well, fortunately we have just a thing to help it cool down. Liquid nitrogen. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Ah, oh, dearie me. Yeah, not really much to look at in the second visit to Rubicarver. A lot of stuff's been cut. Well, been blocked off or... Soon to be known as the Blown Wagon. Hey, that's not funny! Oh dear. I'd better disarm her first. Soon to be known as the Blown Wagon. 
Okay, so... Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Fingers crossed. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. Yeah, it's an he improvement. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Oh dear. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Salvador! Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Oof. That was gonna hurt in the morning. Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Idiot Bowsley, your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? Ooh. That also must have hurt. What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Right, off they go. Quizzical look from Glottis. That's not good. Let's uh, have a look what's going on with this ch chat. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. Always need a spare arm. How's Mecha doing? I take Mecha to all the best places. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun... So we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Oh, Manuel, you're in love. And this photo. Oops. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Excellent. Play hey, this. Eva finally got that radio working. After four years. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, sir. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Damn it, Olivia. Must you try and sleep with everything? Memo. To all agents, priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Memo. To all agents, priority urgent. In oh, light yeah. of the recent That's disappearances, nice. all agents... High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. It's attached pretty well. Hector, I almost have that new bouquet of tulips ready for you. Listen to me once and for all, Palsley. You are not a florist. You are a manufacturer of weapons. But I... Yeah, any more? Hector. Listen to you, but... Evidently not. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. 
This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sprout tell for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, Bowles is of a rather nervous disposition. It's my ex-boss's ex-secretary, Ava. You're never gonna let me forget the secretary thing, are you? Any messages for me? No. Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Yeah, well, at least we have a backlog to read through. I wonder if this is little Manny. Come here, little Manny. Ow! Hey! Must be little Mitchy. So, if you remember from one of Sal's earlier messages, that the birds have a special skill. So we've got this note that Hector sent us telling us that he's going to uh, deal with okay, us. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? So uh, let's drive a wedge between him and Bowsley. After all, the birds can take a message to anyone after just seeing the face. And Bowsley's right next to this dead man. Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, por la revolución! Off you go, little Meche. Maybe this will drive him out. Oh, no, no, no. oh my god! Oh, you fucking dick vulture. Messengers. Would a m message for me? Yes, just for you, Bowsley. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! You'll never find my secret right out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another flourish! Oh, that looked painful. A lot of damage being done to people in this episode. And he spilt his container, that's an important thing to remember. So that's Bowsley out of the lab. Now all we need to do is track the fucker down. Okay, I think this is a nice place to leave it. Um, next episode's going to be a nice long one as we are coming to the end now. So we'll have a nice bumper episode for the finale. Hope you enjoyed everything, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jabbering Magpie, signing off. Have a good one.